And look what's on the floor. Good start it up here for you. The battery's not hooked up. Do a cold start, I guess. You want to call it that. We'll have to tighten that up. Okay, just tighten the battery cable down. Has been running for a couple days. And plug that stupid thing off still. Your vacuum leak. Let's set that down. I'm not going to leave that on it, but it's good enough to plug it off for now. Still runs. Pulls good oil pressure. Wants to move. I need to move some junk before I move and move it. Need to find an air cleaner put on it. I think I should have one somewhere where I can borrow one off something else. Do it for a test drive, at least I won't be sucking dirt in the engine. I need that to happen because that'd be stupid to totally rebuild engine. Drive around no air cleaner. Uh that's about it for now. Let's see if she's got a five speed in her. Then it'll be 4500, 454. Should work good for hauling vehicles and hauling ass down the road. Well, here's the headers I had on the ramp truck. I had them blasted and then I painted them with some high temp paint. The reason I did that was the passenger side. As soon as I started the engine on the engine stand, I burned all the paint off. I'm guessing it must have been oily or greasy. And they painted over the top of it and they just burned off and the pipes. Those four pipes cleared down to probably right there were bare metal and they were rusty. Actually, the driver's side wasn't bad. 
But they're both painted now. We need to get them back on the truck. Before it gets dark. We still need to make exhaust for the truck. I have mufflers. Just need some pipe. Maybe some hangers. And then I could probably go for a drive in the ramp truck. A test run. I did move it from where it was sitting. Got the Massey sitting there. Got some splash pans painted on there. Blasted them, painted them too. For another project I'm working on. And I might show that someday too. But not today. Got the headers back on. I started up. Maybe put a little heat on the headers and the paint, maybe cure it or whatever. I don't know if it needs that. But. Uh, check the radiator, it was a little low, so I dumped some water in it. And the water was sitting on the bed on the back, so I thought, hey, I'll just set it inside the cab. So I opened the cab, set it inside. And look what's on the floor. Well, you can see that, but there is antifreeze on the floor. I had my suspicions that the heater core might be leaking, and obviously it is leaking. So that's something else I need to fix. And hopefully you can get a good copper heater core for these vehicles. Who knows? Replace one in an S10, I had a hell of a time finding one that was copper. All you get is aluminum one, and they're not even made right. So, I don't know, I might have to take it out and take it to the radiator shop and have it fixed. Who knows? Like something stupid. Anyways, I need to find some exhaust pipes still. And get exhaust on, mufflers on, then we can go for test drive. That should start back up, no problem. Didn't get oil pressure. Because it shows when you're built. So. That should do it. I also want to mention that if you're a subscriber, you're awesome. And don't forget to ring that notification bell.